What's going on today, everybody? Today, I want to talk about a technology that's been blowing my mind recently. And in my opinion, it's completely game changing for language learning. Imagine being able to have someone by your side 24 seven that you can talk to, you can ask questions, ask for content recommendations, ask for input that's comprehensible. The list goes on and on. It's in the title of this video and that is ChatGPT. And if you've been on the internet since December, you should have heard of it by now as it's literally been in the news almost every single day with new articles being written about it. But that, in my opinion, is with good reason. I think some examples are needed to illustrate the point. So I'm going to ask it to explain to me how I play chess. Now I'm going to tell it I don't understand English that well, can it rephrase it to make it more comprehensible? There, it simplified it into simpler terms where someone might still be able to understand how chess works and be able to play the game. So it took a more complex explanation to a more comprehensible and low level explanation and it does even one more thing and this is pretty cool. So now I'm going to ask it to give me a vocabulary list from English to Japanese about the words in the paragraph. Okay, and it's not just limited to English either. Let's ask if it can explain it to us in Japanese. So there's an explanation in Japanese. Now I want to list a vocab with the furigana next to it. And there you go, an entire vocabulary list with the furigana with it. And there's also some rumaji in here as well too. And then one more example, I'm going to choose a little bit more of a complex topic. I'm going to choose Laplace transforms. Okay, cool. So it gave me a short explanation of the Laplace transform in Japanese, but I want to go sentence by sentence and now I want the English translation of each sentence. Awesome. Now I have some translations. Now I don't know. Let's say I don't know the readings of the kanji. Cool. Let's ask it to add the furigana readings of the kanji. And now there you are. Now you have the furigana readings for all of the kanji inside of this example. And there's just one more thing I want to show you. This is for you frequency list people out there. What are the thousand most common words used in Japanese? And this list goes on and on. You just have to keep clicking continue and it's going to keep writing more stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and stop generating and ask it one more quick question. And so based on the response, the AI knows this based on information on research and studies conducted by linguists, educators, and experts in the field, and all of the data that it has been trained on. So out of 170 billion plus data samples that it's been tested on, these are the most frequent, frequent words. So I think this is going to be a pretty accurate frequency list for the Japanese language as a whole, but I can't say whether or not that's true. That's just my my guess based on the amount of data that it's been it's been trained on. But this is just an example. There are so many different things that you can do with it. I've only been playing around with it and discovered how powerful it can be. You can talk to it in other languages. You can create simpler uh, passages or certain content. You can look things up in say Japanese in in a easier explanation, you can ask for easier explanations. You can ask them to explain it to you like you're three years old and it will create prompts or it will create answers that are really accurate according to what you ask it. And I'm not here to argue how perfect it is. It has its flaws. It's not 100% perfect, but it's literally 90% there. All of the examples that I tried, I also tried in English and as a native speaker of English, it produced really good results in my opinion. Like if I took complex topics, I could always try to bring it down to more simpler terms to where it would be able to be comprehended by someone that is younger. Or you can even ask it other ways to explain it. And this lends itself directly into the polls that I was asking on YouTube this week. So those two being what's the biggest obstacle to reading native content or reading in general and would you read in more in your target language if and so a lot of the answers were there were too many unknown words or the not enough comprehension or people didn't want to read in the target language because interesting input was hard to find or there was not enough comprehensible input. And my wheels have been turning in my brain for how this model or chat GPT or anything similar to it can be used to create more comprehensible input. And I think this is the biggest problem with the input hypothesis is that comprehensible input is hard to find. However, if an AI model like ChatGPT can create individualized, comprehensible input for learners, 
I think learners have a much better chance at going about this comprehensible input. Like, can you imagine if you are able to create content or find content of anything you're interested in and have it all be comprehensible? That is the vision that I see with ChatGPT and future models that come out for creating or making content as this. I see it as a solution for creating I plus one content for learners of all levels. And so I really want to look into it and have been, th been thinking of ways that I can try to create a model to do this type of thing. And based on the data set that ChatGPT was trained on, I believe it can really do it. However, I think it just has to be refined more towards I plus one and language learning. And so the vision I see is that this model will be able to help you find interesting input, interesting content. It can choose and curate content that you think are interesting, and then it'll bring that content to you at a certain level. And if you want it easier, you can make it easier. If you want it harder, you can make it harder. I can see this proliferating and creating a lot of more, a lot more accessible resources and media for language learners to be able to use from beginner all the way to advanced. Now it does have its limitations and fortunately it's not perfect. So I'm going to use an example to illustrate this point. Say for example, the content that you want to consume is not normally consumed by a certain age demographic or by a certain level. It's going to struggle to try to create a certain way for you to comprehend it. For example, I asked it if it can explain Laplace transforms to me as if I was five years old. It gave me a great overview of the concept behind Laplace transforms. Now I asked then, how would I use it? I'm five years old. And it told me that I simply wouldn't know how to do it and it didn't give me how I would use Laplace transforms. So it knows that a five-year-old probably can't comprehend Laplace transforms, and if they can, they shouldn't be saying that they're five years old, they should use a different parameter. And just like humans in this regard, it's not gonna be able to take a very complex topic and show you how to do it in complex terms, because a lot of times you need to build a foundation in order to be able to understand that complexity. So unfortunately, it's not some magic tool that you can use it to explain everything to you in simple terms. However, it can be used to give you those foundations. It can be used to explain those foundations to you. You just have to know what to ask it and to make sure those answers are valid, you can always cross check them by looking them up on Google in your native language. But more often than not, it's giving pretty good pretty good explanations. And just like you wouldn't take someone's, some random person's word for face value, I wouldn't take ChatGPT's word for 100% fact either. And it's not some magic tool that's going to instantly make you fluent in any language. Of course, you're still going to have to put in the hours and work. I just think it's going to allow you to be able to find content that's going to allow you to continue in a language and stay motivated to learn as you'll be able to change kind of the difficulty of content that you're consuming. You can either consume a very high level, broad, brief description of some complex topic or you can use it to find other things as well and overall I think it's gonna revolutionize how language learning can be modified on a case-by-case -case basis per person for each person on their own language journey as that is the hardest part for anyone trying to learn a language is that every case is different. And so to be able to have something in your pocket that you can reference and be able to use to learn the language is a very powerful tool because for most language learners, language learning is an independent activity. You're not going to class to learn a language. You're gonna be studying in your own time. You're gonna be consuming content on your own time. You're gonna be putting in your own work in order to learn a language. So to have an assistant that can be there right by your side at all times, it knows who you are and it knows how you're trying to learn a language and knows your interests. I think it's going to be fantastic and very revolutionary for language learning. So that's all I wanted to talk about today. It's pretty brief. I just wanted to share my thoughts on this chat GPT and the AI technology because I think it is a fantastic tool and is being slept on by a lot of language learners. There are some videos out there on YouTube that are outlining how it can be used for language learning. I would recommend going to go watch some of those. One that I saw was here and then there are some other stuff that talks about it so go check those out if you're interested more in how ChatGPT can be used for language learning and so as always i'll see you guys in a future video good luck on your journey out there and uh, see you later